Well, here we are again. It's been 40 days since Easter Passover, and uh, this we just want to talk about what happened today on the 40th day. Well, we know that we talked about Jesus after he uh, rose from the grave. He didn't just go to heaven and stay there. He he was with the people for 40 days. He appeared to the women. He appeared to Peter. He appeared to went on a seven mile walk, talked about everything that concerned him in the scriptures. Um, he did a barbecue with seven of them. He, he broke bread. Um, it said at one time while he was given instructions, while they were having a dinner, he spoke nothing but the kingdom. So he did a lot of teaching. He did said if they would have recorded the miracles that he did, they, a book couldn't uh, record them. So he was doing miracles and he was doing it in a physical body. When he uh, appeared to Thomas, he said, Thomas, touch my hands and my, my side. He said, a spirit does not have uh, flesh and bone. I'm, uh, uh, I am spirit and I'm flesh and I'm bone. So Thomas, he just said, my Lord and my God. What a great, great statement. My Lord and my God, he was. And so here he was for 40 days. He made himself prove that he was infallibly alive. And I, I think one of the things I'm amazed about is that he appeared to 500 at one time. And that tells me that it wasn't just like, hi, it was like there was some kind of crusade or something that must have happened because to appear to 500 and show them your hands, your flesh, your side and all this, it's just amazing. And to be able to have the meals that he had with him, like when he was at the, on the beach and he did, he cooked fish and bread for, for his disciples and he cooked for them. <laughs> then he ate with them and then he taught and he affirmed Peter's calling. So it's just amazing what happened during those 40 days. I just love it. I call it 40 days of glory from the time that Jesus raised from the dead and showed himself to, to uh, many people. And it seems kind of interesting too that Jesus, being that he was here for 40 days before he ascended into the throne room and sat, um, it, he was here for the second Passover because the, the Bible says there's uh, the first Passover and then there's another one for those who couldn't attain or couldn't come to the first one. So God had a mercy thing and he had a second Passover. It was a month later and it, isn't, it just doesn't surprise me that Jesus stuck around for the second Passover because he is the Passover lamb. And so we're just really excited today that this we're celebrating. This is the day that Jesus would have actually went to the Mount of Olives and ascended before their very eyes. And the angels would have said to, to the disciples, um, why do you stand here gazing at, at, the, at Jesus? This same Jesus will return the same way. And so we know he ascended in a cloud physically and uh, spiritually, and he will come back. It, look, behold, it says in Revelation, he comes in the clouds and every eye will see him. We just have so many scriptures on that. And the day that he ascended, he fulfilled um, Daniel when it said that he, uh, that he went into, there was the one like the son of man who came in the clouds and he came in before the ancient of days, the father, and it said, and he was given a seat and he sat down and he would be made ruler of the nations. So it was interesting on the Mount of Olives when he ascended that day, on the 40th day, that Jesus was fulfilling what Daniel the prophet had spoken about. And then we're gonna get to see if we're still around, Lord knows <laughs> when he's coming back. But many will, we will get to see the second coming when it says, behold, he comes in a cloud and every eye will see him and those who have pierced him will mourn. So we know this is pretty exciting. We have seen just a whole bunch of miracles. We've been calling it 40 days of glory. And ever since we've been confessing this, we have seen miracle after miracle after miracle. It's just been awesome. Um, just bragging about that. Yeah, we've seen some uh, financial miracles with different people and we've seen some physical miracles. I think the greatest one, one of the greatest physical miracles we just saw, it didn't even happen right here it happened uh, in Seattle and uh, the man that had uh, water around his heart and around his whole body within about 24 hours lost 13 uh, pounds of water in a very short amount of time and before that he wasn't losing any 
until they just started believing God. And then that's when that miracle started and it just happened. They were in discouragement and then they just hold up the receipt of heaven, which is everything Jesus did on the cross. And that's when the water started flowing out of his body. <laughs> yeah, they, they were getting a little discouraged. There was prayer going up, but they just didn't see it happening as fast as they wanted. But you know, when you get discouraged, God always has a way of lifting you up. And so uh, I sent a text to her and told her, we're, we haven't stopped praying, we're, we're believing this is gonna change. And the doctor said, there's no heart damage. Before they were saying congestive heart failure, and now they're saying no damage. And the thing was, I said, Sissy, if the only thing you can do when you lay your head on your pillow tonight is to grab his hand and hold your hand up to heaven and declare you have the receipt called the blood of Jesus. And you know, a receipt's pretty powerful. You can't even walk out of, in the natural, you can't walk out of Costco without a receipt. You can talk to him, you can explain, hey, I paid for this, but you don't have to say a word when you hold out the receipt. No brainer, you just, okay, you're through. They just show them the receipt. Well, that's the way God is when it comes to his people. He, it says that he purchased for himself a people. That means that there was something that paid for it. And the Bible said that he paid for us, our redemption through the inter incorruptible blood of Jesus. So I said, just hold it up. If that's all you gotta do, just hold that up. She said, I held it up. She said, I held the receipt up. I grabbed his hand and held the receipt up, she said. And when they went to the doctor the next day, the doctor was amazed. So that there's just been tons and tons of miracles that have happened during these 40 days of glory. And they're not gonna cease after, but we just had an expectation of some acceleration. Now what we're kind of excited about talking about is that when Jesus ascended on the 40th day, he said, tarry in Jerusalem till you be endued with power from on high, for I'm gonna send the Holy Spirit who will lead you and guide you into all truth, and he will be with you and dwell in you. And so Jesus gave those instructions and uh, on day 40, and he knew that 10 days from that time, there would be the next feast called the Feast of First Fruits. And that was when the Holy Spirit was poured out. It was poured out on the day of first fruits and it was a holiday and there were so many people that had come. God's timing so perfect. He knew there was gonna be tons and tons and tons of people in Jerusalem during this time because it's a holiday. And that's when God poured it out. He didn't do it in a corner. He did it when it was lots of things were going on. And so that's where all these people got touched by the Holy Spirit. And so, this is coming up in it, just shortly. It's going to be coming. And um, we just want to encourage people that if you haven't received the Holy Spirit, you believe in the atonement, you've asked Christ into your heart, but maybe you haven't encountered his power. Like Paul said, have you received the Holy Spirit since you believed? You know what? It's like it's receiving. Like if I hand Neil this cup right now and he doesn't take it, that's not receiving. But if I say, here, honey, you want to drink? That's receiving. And I think I'll receive that back and have some too. <laughs> this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Realize that every day is the Lord's day and any day you can receive from God through prayer and believing and just, he's just that good. He's wonderful. And so we just wanna encourage all those out there who have never experienced the presence of God, the power of God, it's just an ask away and a receiving away. See, Jesus, I've heard about the Holy Spirit. I've heard about your power, but I just, I've just i just never experienced it. I have knowledge of it, but I've never. He wants you to experience it, just like I'm experiencing this drink of water. Yes, he wants you to have experiential knowledge, not just a hearsay, but actually experience, because once you experience it, nobody can take that away from you. So we just say, Happy 40th day of the Ascension. Um, it's still glory time. It's not gonna cease after the day of, the, of, the, of Pentecost, which is, you know, just another celebration of what happened 2000 years ago. But I really do believe that we're in a season where we're gonna see the acceleration of the Holy Spirit power, because he said in the last days, when he pours out his spirit on all flesh, sons and daughters would prophesy, men would have dreams and visions, young men and old men and upon the servants and maids. Uh, it doesn't matter where, what walk of life you're from, he's pouring out his power and he said the latter glory is gonna be greater than the former glory. 
And so we thank the Lord that this is, it's an ever increasing glory. It says, we with unveiled faces behold the Lord and are changed into his likeness with an ever increasing glory. So there is, it's ever increasing and this is, what a time to receive this. Yes, every day is a great time to receive it. So right now, as you're listening to us, just pray to God and receive everything he has for you. Just pray that simple prayer. And if you haven't received the Lord, say, Lord, I don't want to live another day without you in charge of my life. That's a prayer I prayed years ago. That was my big prayer. And then I said, Lord, can you make something beautiful out of my life? That was my big prayer. And Jesus has been with me every since. You can pray it the, uh, just as long as it's sincere and real. And then what you do is when you, when you turn your heart over to Jesus, the Bible says uh, there's a repentance. What repentance means is what you were doing before that you really enjoyed that wasn't right, you're just saying, I don't want to do that no more. I want to do something better. I want to do something that God has for me. And I don't want to be under the influence of darkness and, and uh, seducing works that are trying to get me to do things that are just contrary to the word. I want to live for God. And once you receive Christ in your heart and you do that, you are a candidate for that beautiful born again birthday present. So, so we want to thank you and God bless you and continue to walk with him. Okay, God Every bless. day. Every day. God bless.